Hello, welcome to the guide to flashing a static LED map onto your K-Type keyboard. This guide does assume that you have DFU Util installed and that you have used Zadig to load the proper drivers onto your Windows computer. Please download the most current release of the Input Club Configurator uh, to do this properly. If you haven't done all of these steps, I encourage you to check the description for a link to the guide to flashing your K-Type from scratch on Windows. Uh, and once you've done that, this guide will make a lot more sense. So to begin, let's start with the current configurator. Okay, I have a K-Type installed and it's actually already in flash mode. Uh, it now says up here, ready to flash. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to the visuals tab. You'll notice in the manage visualization section, rainbow wave is set to auto start. Uh, I'm actually going to delete this because we're going to set a static LED map that doesn't have any animations or change. It just lights up colors the way it's supposed to. We're going to click on this art tray down here next. We'll name our static LED map. I'll call it test and press enter to begin uh, setting colors. There are three different buttons here. There's backlighting underlighting, and all. Backlighting just auto-selects all the keys for the keyboard. Underlighting selects the underlighting layer, and all will set them both to be the same color. For fun, we're going to set the backlighting to be a Tron aqua color, and I'm going to set the underlighting layer to be a deep Cylon red. Uh, next, I'm going to make the WASD keys for this layout, uh, specifically a green color. So we'll go pick a, a dark green that's very visually distinct from the Scion, and I'm going to copy the hex key um, right here because I want them all to be the same color. So I'm just selecting them and pasting in that same color. OK, I'm going to click anywhere. Uh, just so that we're not leaving it selected. And I'm going to move over to the Manage Visualizations tab on the gear, and I'm going to set this to Auto Start. This means when our K-Type finishes flashing, and whenever you plug it in going forward, this LED layout will just be on the K-Type until you change it. Okay, so let's just download this firmware now. and click the flash button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, flip your K-Type over and hit the flash button on the back. I did this at the beginning, so I don't need to, and I'm just going to click flash. OK, I am looking at my K-Type, and it is lit up in an aqua blue with a Cylon Red and the WASD are a very lovely uh, shade of green. So this completes the guide to flashing a static LED map onto your K-Type. If you have any questions about this process or it was confusing, please join our Discord channel and feel free to ask us or community members there questions or uh, ask for advice on how to properly program or configure your K-Type keyboard. If all else fails, please send us a message at info at input.club. Otherwise, have a great day.